This is the story that's written in time of our mother and against her a crime. This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra. This mother, let me tell you what once befell this mother. They smother the unborn child within her. They smother. They smother. They smother, taking him away from his mother. This mother left to rock an empty cradle. This mother, the love of her heart from her womb taken. A blossomed womb became cold and barren. She felt and saw this child fall from within her. This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra. A part, Muhammad's part of her, of him she's a part. A part, after his death she felt from his world a part. Apart, she complains to his grave how she's torn apart. Apart, and a part of her desires, her mother. She longs for her death as she longs for him. She sits there daily and sings him a hymn. How much they oppressed me after you, O oh Father. This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra. This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra. Healing the broken ribs. When we think of the attack on the house of Fatima to Zahra, one of the first things we think of are her broken ribs. We imagine her pushed between the door and the wall and the snapping of her bones. We imagine how difficult it must have been for Lady Zahra السلام, to breathe, let alone stand after that. But what if I told you that there was action you could do that would ease the pain of Lady Fatima السلام? What if I told you about an action that lessens or even lessens the pain of those broken ribs? Let me share you a story from the life of Ayatollah Wajdani Fakhr, a grand scholar who was buried in the haram of Lady Fatima Ma'asuma in Qom. One night on the eve of Juma, Friday, Ayatollah Fakhr went to the shrine of Lady Ma'asuma and began to recite ziyara. Then suddenly he saw a bright and brilliant light descend upon the top of the shrine and he heard a voice that said that this was Fatima to Zahra السلام, who had come to do ziyara of her granddaughter. Out of respect, Ayatollah Fakhr moved to allow her more space, but she told him to remain in his place because he was standing in the spot where her son, Imam Mahdi Sharif, would stand when he makes the ziyarah of Lady Ma'asum. She then added that she wanted him to continue reciting ziyarah of her granddaughter Fatima Ma'asum because by doing so, this calmed the pain of her broken ribs. So from that day forward, every Thursday evening, Ayatollah Fakh would recite her ziyarah and instructed his students to do the same. A few weeks later, Lady Fatima السلام, appeared to him once again, cheerfully proclaiming that the, the recitation of the ziyarah of her granddaughter Ma'asuma had indeed eased her pain and made her happy. What a beautiful and inspiring story. Inshallah, all of us can start reciting the ziyarah of Fatima and Ma'asuma on a Thursday night as it is only a short ziyarah and we can really implement this with our other a'mal such as Dua Kumail on a Thursday or Dua Tawassul on a Tuesday. And above all, 
As I stand here in the holy land of Karbala, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all, not only with the chance to make ziyarah here, but also to visit the holy city of Qum, where we may be able to say our ziyarat of the granddaughter of Zahra alayhi salam, right next to her blessed grave. Satellite, the house of Fatima was satellite. Satellite, the house angels visited was satellite. Sat a light, the house in which she prayed, she sat a light. Set a light, set a light in the flames, she called for Haidar. The house to which a thousand angels turned, she stood by the door as in flames it burned. She calls for Ali and she calls for her father. This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra. I don't die. I don't die. I don't die. Do not ask me why my grey beard. I don't die, I don't die When I buried her I asked why don't I die I don't die When I recall her I ask why I don't die I don't die I long for my death just so I can see her. I see my own death as my happiness because I recall her presence was a bliss I see my own death as happiness because I recall her presence was bliss If there is no Zahra how can there be Haidar? This is the tragedy of Fatima to Zahra this is the tragedy of Fatimatun Zahra.